Hey, what's going on everybody? So we're down at the shop and uh, I got a couple things going on, some cool stuff today. You guys see back there, uh, Howler, the uh, 2019 Mustang is here. And um, we uh, got some drag radials that came in. So we're gonna mount up these tires and we're gonna put them on the car. Now, uh, also fortunately enough for me, uh, my drag radials came in also. You can see them right back there. But you see those guys? There's, uh, there's Joe and Adam. Uh, they're mounting the tires and uh, we're going to get in there. We're going to take a close look at these tires because uh, Hal is going to be running a different tire than me. I'm running the 305 and he's running the 315. So let's get inside and uh, take a look at what those tires look like. All right, guys. So here's my tires. Uh, here's the old one. This is the one that had the groove in it. And um, Mickey Thompson uh, realized that this was a problem. And they sent me this new set. And uh, here they are. You can take a look at them. Brand new. Uh, you can see the wear indicators, how nice and deep they are. And uh, you can see from this one that uh, we were pretty good into them. Uh, almost the first wear indicator is completely gone. But we only had about 15 passes on this tire. Uh, really unfortunate that that happened, but um, Mickey Thompson's a good company. I don't have anything bad to say about them. They're a good company. They sent me a new set of tires. Uh, they realized that this was an issue with the tire. And um, we're going to get them mounted up. So, like I say, guys, uh, these are the 305s. You can see it right there. 305-4517. Uh, Howler is getting the 315. And uh, we're going we're gonna to mount those tires, and we're going to mount these tires. And we're going to put them side by side, and we'll show you the differences. All right, guys, since we're talking about tires, I couldn't help but notice this car out here in the parking lot. Uh, this is Dave's car. This is a 2017 uh, Mustang GT. Uh, this is a car that's pretty well built up. It's putting over a thousand horse to the rear wheels. And um, he's running the 315, so I'm going to jump in there and I'm going to show you what it looks like to have those tires on this car. So I just wanted to show you something while I had the chance here. Uh, this is Dave's car. This is a car that uh, is running a big 77 millimeter turbo, single turbo. Uh, puts down about 1,100, 1,000 horsepower uh, to the wheels. I think it was 1,000 horsepower on the Mustang Dyno when uh, you make an adjustment for Dyno Jet figures. But if you look at the back of his car, he's running the Mickey Thompson ET Streets also. Um, these are the 315s. This is the tire that's going on, Howler. Um, like I say, my car, I'm running the, three, uh, the 305s, but this is the 315. And uh, it's a pretty big tire. You see it right there? Uh, this is what we're mounting up inside to go on Howler right now. As you can see, it fits. I mean, um, I, I'm assuming that the offsets and backspacing on this rim is the same as what we're running. And uh, the tire fits. I mean, it's big. You can see, though, it fits in there. Uh, Dave's been through several sets of these tires already because this car's fast and it really burns them up. But uh, this is what they look like. This is a good look at what the 315 looks like on a, um, an S550. So uh, we're going to get this together. Look at that nice hood he's got with the heat extractors. This is uh, one bad machine, guys. This is a single turbo car. It's, uh, it's sleeved, you know, it's running a stock manifold and stuff. Makes a lot of power. Uh, power comes off strong, off the bottom. And this car really rips. You can see right there, he's got the uh, bumper exit. This is one nice car, guys. I'm hoping that one day we can see this car at the track. See what it could do. the 315, uh, 5017s. Uh, these tires are a little bit wider and a little bit taller uh, than the 305s that are on my car. You can see that right there, uh, 315. Now this is what they look like when they're new guys. You can see the wear indicators. Look at that, nice and deep. Okay, so another thing that we're gonna do with Howler today while we're here at 5 Bar Motorsports is we're gonna put in an oil separator. Now this is a JLT. Uh, here it is in the box. It's pretty easy install, there's really nothing to it. It mounts right here. There's a little bracket that goes here. The uh, oil separator sits right about here. And uh, we'll get that on here, you know? It's uh, very important to have that. 
and uh, we're gonna get it on there today at Five Bar Motorsports. All right, guys, you can see uh, these are my rims and we're getting ready to mount my tires. This time around, we're putting in the TPMS sensor. I didn't do that the first time. I didn't think I needed it, but I realize now it's good to have because you can read your tire pressures from the dash and that's always a good thing. Right, so you can see we spun the tire the first time. Uh, we were only three ounces out and it just turned out that the weight was to the opposite side of the TPMS sensor. See that, there it is right there. So these tires actually balance out pretty good. I'm impressed. And there you go. Balanced out perfectly with three ounces. Excellent. Okay, so what we're gonna do is take a look at the two different tires here. Uh, here on the left, we have the 305. And here on the right, we have the 315. And clearly you could see that there's a big difference in size. Uh, this 315, roughly measures if you measure across roughly the tread patch is about 12 inches okay and then when you go over here to the 305 you're looking at maybe just a little bit under 11 inches so there's an inch difference in width uh, the height of these tires if you measure get this tape measure in, in position here if you measure this uh, they're roughly about 29 inches in height you can see it there give you guys a good look at it then you come over to the 305 and you're looking at roughly 28 inches in height and uh you know the toilet tire also gives you a longer contact patch because of the height but uh so the the um 315 should be given a little bit more traction than the 305 i've personally had some pretty good luck with the 305s uh, so I'm going to stick with them this time around. Uh, when these uh, tires wear out, uh, I might go with these 315s, depending on, you know, the experiences that we have with Howler. But another important thing that I want to point out, too, is that this tire did not take a lot of weight. It only took three ounces right there, and it's roughly on the opposite side of the TPMS sensor. I thought that that was pretty cool. Uh, I've had tires that took a lot more weight than that, uh, but these ones balanced out pretty good. So I'm pretty happy with them. So now... Both cars are going to be set up to go to the track, and we'll be out there soon. Okay, so the JLT oil separator has been installed. There it is right there. Looking good. Okay, everybody, so Howler's got its drag radials. There they are, all mounted. They fit in there really nice, probably about the biggest tire and wheel combination that you can fit on an S550 without any clearance issues. You can see right there, 315 50R17. Uh, these are mounted on um, 17 by 10 and a half inch Rovos wheels. Everything fits really nice. So next up for this car is to get it to the track and see what it could do. All right, guys. So Hal has got its tires and it's ready to get down to the track. Uh, car's got a great set of Mickey Thompson ET streets and we're expecting to see some pretty good times out of that car. And also, uh, I got my tires for my car. Now, I'm not exactly ready to get it to the track, uh, but before I go for tuning later in January, uh, I do plan to get to the track. And if all goes well, maybe we'll get both cars out there and we'll go heads up and we'll see which one is quicker. Stage one with a chiller or stage two with custom tuning. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.